Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Aquarius, Aquarius rising and moon in Aquarius. If you don't know where your moon or rising is, then please go to my website, astrologynight.com, to get your free chart wheel. Anyway, Aquarius, this is a week of a big shift. You've been going through some kind of hell and some emotional experience. In fact, we all have on different levels. Thanks to Chiron, the wounded healer going backwards. You may have been reflecting on your sense of security, of abundance, of where you are in the world in connection with how safe you feel. And possibly you've gone through a time where you've been thinking about the past, times when you didn't feel secure or safe, times where you felt that you were a little bit powerless. And this reflection has been quite a painful journey for you. But the good news is we are now at a time when things are changing, things are shifting, and you are moving forward. And you are able to feel with empathy your own journey and where you've come from. And hopefully, Chiron is saying now, this is it, I'm bringing you to a space where you really feel secure within yourself, possibly for the first time in your life, but certainly on a much deeper level than ever before. We also have a grand water trine coming in and washing away the past and allowing us to let go of things, to step through this week feeling refreshed and cleansed and renewed. And for you, it's a lot to do with, you, with again, who you are in the world, how you see yourself, connected to your career, connected to your sense of safety, and all of that, boom, you can start again feeling fresh, like you feel you've let go of something, a burden has been lifted. The sun is also plugging you into the mains. Other people are becoming aware of you, they're having a sense of you, any ideas you put out there, any energy you put out there returns to you, and you're able to go, oh, hello, you know, suddenly things are happening when I think them. So be careful what you think this week, be careful what you put out there, be careful careful what you believe about yourself and life and be optimistic and be positive and, and be very proactive with taking your fabulous mind outside. A cradle is also nurturing us in this process. We have Venus in your position of your intuition. So in terms of relationships, you want a deep connection and that's sextiling Mercury, the planet of communication and Saturn, the Lord of responsibility in the position of your career which is sextiling Mars, the planet of action, in your sense of power and powerlessness. Make sure there's no part of you that's fearful of issues connected to power or powerlessness. Stand strong in your power, stand strong in where you are now and appreciate where you've come from. Understand your journey. That's really essential this week. We also have a grand fire trine, which is fortunately bringing us all back to our power and our va 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 voom. And you might find that people are contacting you, connecting you, and you're just in the right time at the right place. And you're also feeling very intuitive when it comes to love. And there could be some unexpected communication coming your way this week. Take care. I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon.